Deluxe Gear Box. Welcome back to the table. It's been a minute. Today I have a very exciting new unboxing for you. My first unboxing and overview of 2023. Uh, a little bit, uh, had to take a little bit of time off to focus on the, um, you know, the full-time job and all of that. But I'm back and I'm going to be making more content here uh, going forward. I'm excited about this one especially. Uh, this one is special to me because it's one of my favorite knives and one of my most carried knives for the last uh, two years. And this variation is very exciting. This is the Protec, as you can tell, Malibu Flipper. Whoops, let me get it into the camera angle there. The Malibu Flipper with the textured blue handle, stonewashed, finished, magna cut, Orncliffe blade. And I'm really, really excited about this. I feel like, and I'm not sure about this, but this is kind of like a first run kind of deal. Uh, I've seen these pop up and sell out immediately uh, at places. And uh, I saw this at River's Edge Cutlery and uh, I had to bring one home. And uh, here we go. This is not unlike any other um, ProTech knife unboxing. I have opened this already just to look at it. And then I promptly put it right back in the box because I wanted to do a video and I'm super excited about this knife. Uh, as far as an overview goes, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know, I think I have two other unboxing and overviews of a ProTec Malibu, two different flavors than this one. Um, and I loved them. They're fantastic knives. Not everybody loves them. They're not everyone's cup of tea, but this one is definitely one of my favorite knives. And this new version of it is definitely going to be a contender <laughs> for my most carried knife of this year. Uh, I can already tell you that. I loved it in the store and I love it right now. And uh, that's what you get in the box, uh, the, the ProTech stuff. You, um, If you've opened one, you have opened um, all of them, essentially, you get a good warranty. They are made in the USA. Uh, you can read that if you want. Uh, Protec is a brand. I kind of consider myself a little bit of a fanboy now because I've been treated well by their customer service. I own quite a few Protec knives. They are made in America. I do like that. And they don't charge an arm and a leg uh, for what you get. Uh, the value proposition is quite nice in my opinion everybody has a different opinion but anyway this is the ProTech Malibu in blue texture and Warncliffe and Magna Cut and uh, I'm really excited about all of those things here if I can get the I think I showed you already but yep I also love that they don't put the branding all over the knife a lot of companies uh, don't do that anyway on to the specs, just in case you haven't uh, seen one of these before. Now, the, the um, this blade shape, as far as the Malibu, is new to me. Uh, I've never had this, uh, this blade shape before in the Malibu. I have these other two Malibus that have the reverse Tonto. And I wanted to kind of go ahead and show them all side by side um, right off the bat here before we actually get into the other size comparisons. So this one's new to me. It's not any longer, um, and it has the same kind of a little bit of a belly, but not quite as much as you can see. Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you those side by side right off the bat, and then we'll talk uh, specs. Blade length is 3.3 inches, overall length is 7.5 inches, which is a great EDC size. It weighs about three ounces, very lightweight, flat ground, worn cliff, stone wash finish, which is one of my favorite finishes you can get. You see a little oil is on it there. Um, CPM Magna Cut, of course. Textured T6 aluminum. Um, it's got T6 hardware as far as the body screws go. Uh, button lock, right hand only uh, tip up deep carry pocket clip. Let's see. And it is the milli or the uh, the texturing stops right under where the pocket clip meets so that you don't tear up your jeans easily with the pocket clip. Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's look at some side-by-side -side comparisons with other 
EDC knives, starting off with some of the most popular ones, the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. And my other most carried knife, probably of all time, the uh, Para 3 and Maximit there. Uh, you can see they're very comparable in size, a little bit uh, slimmer in the profile, of course. Let's see, what else do we have here that's uh, kind of in the same ballpark? We got a Civivi Elementum, a little bit shorter there, Benchmade bug out. I feel like everyone has a bug out. <laughs> and uh, you can uh, know going in, the bug out and the Malibu are similar shapes and sizes. Actually, not shapes, but sizes, yeah. Here's a full size Griptilian. Uh, and uh, let's go with something smaller from Protec. And that is the Run 5. Which is kind of cool to see those side by side. I have another Run 5 here as well. The River's Edge Cutler exclusive one, which is super cool. Also in Magna Cut. Do, 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 do. What else? What else? What else? Another Protec. The. TR5 in the sapphire blue. Beautiful knife. I still actually, I don't think I've done a video of this yet. I need to do that. I need to do that. I think I bought this knife last year at a time when I wasn't doing a whole lot of videos. Here again, just so you can see side by side, um, the other two Malibus with the reverse Warren Cliff. Uh, this is the River's Edge Cutlery exclusive. It's got a pretty cool fancy button. Uh, pearl in there and then this is kind of the plain Jane the regular old black Malibu you can see I've carried it quite a bit it's a little bit snail trailed everywhere uh, and that's because I love it <laughs> and I carry it a lot CPM 20 CV is kind of the going steel for these and I wonder um, if they're going to be switching to Magna Cut um, more often now uh, I don't know for sure I do not know uh, Dave, the head of ProTech, but I do know people who do know him and talk to him on a regular basis, so uh, maybe I'll hear something. All right, this is really, really cool. I can tell you right now, I love it. Here's my impressions, though. Just, um, you know, there's a few cons. There's, I don't know that there's a perfect knife out there, and there's a lot of pros. I'll do the cons first, shorter list. Sort of a con. I've never ever, and, and please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I've never seen a left-handed Malibu. I don't know if they make them. I know that they make uh, some other knives in their stable are left-handed carry, um, but I've never seen a left-handed Malibu. Now, um, the cool thing is I'm not left-handed, and I can still operate this knife just fine. So I don't know that that's really a con for this knife because it is. it seems very ambidextrous. Now, I'm not going to do that because I'll inevitably cut my finger off because I am not good with my left hand, but if you are good with your left hand, you probably won't have a problem with this. So I don't know that it's a deal breaker, but I did want to mention it for sure. This one's push button lock. I don't know if you can hear that. Let me get it into the microphone. I don't know if it's picking that up. It's probably picking up my furnace that just kicked on. Um, it's got a, it's a little bit sticky. Not, my others are not. They're not sticky at all. They do kind of, you can kind of work the blade a little bit, but it eventually kicks out. Uh, I wonder if this one, and they didn't, they didn't come that way. And this one feels a little bit like it needs uh, more of a break-in period. It just feels a little bit stiff. So uh, again, just got it out. Haven't worked with it at all. Um, and so I have a feeling that's just going to be a normal break-in thing. If anything changes and that becomes like an issue, uh, I'll let you know. I'll put it in the comments below. And then the T6 body screws. You know, T6 screws are just a little bit annoying. I like how small they are in that they are out of the way. I like how they're flush. There's no bump under there. Uh, but um, T6 screws can can strip out a little bit easier than some of the bigger ones for sure. Although I've never had any issues with my Malibus and I've had a Malibu, I've had that black one for like three years now, I think. So no issues, just something to be aware of. The pros, everything else. This is one of my favorite knife designs of all time. It remains that way. And now I have an upgrade in a lot of ways. 
Magna Cut. Let's talk about that. I believe it's a great EDC steel. I haven't had any issues with it at all. I'm not a, a master sharpener by any means. Um, so I know there's a little bit of a thing about the uh, heat treat right now. As far as I know and what I've heard from my friends in the industry, I believe ProTech is actually conferring with Laren Thomas, the uh, inventor, the maker of, or not the maker, the inventor <laughs> of Magna Cut Steel, and they are running things by him in a pretty in-depth way. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're taking the steel to him and saying, hey, are we doing this right? From what I understand, and uh, that's really cool to hear. Um, and I believe that they are shooting for a Rockwell hardness of like 63. Uh, there's a general range that people like in Magna Cut, and I do believe ProTech is doing their best to shoot for that level of hardness. All right, enough about that. Um, you know, and, and if it's not meeting that hardness, it's just gonna be a little bit softer and it's going to go dull a little bit quicker, I believe is the story behind all that. Um, but I, again, I haven't had any issues personally with Magna Cut. Um, but it, also, I'm not like the master sharpener. I don't sharpen my knives every day. Um, I know some people out there do, and they care a little bit more about that kind of stuff than I do. I just think it's really cool that ProTech is working with Laren Thomas on their Magna Cut blades. That's very cool to hear. Love it. I'm an enthusiast of that kind of stuff. People in the industry working together. Makes me happy. All right. Uh, textured handles will fix one of the most common complaints that I hear about aluminum bodied knives and I've specifically heard that a lot about people's experience with um, Protex Mal uh, Protec Malibus and um, I've never been bothered by it. You can see I'm a little sweaty, gross. Uh, I've never been bothered by it. I've never had this knife slip out of my hand. Some people really don't like it. So I just mentioned it going in that if that is an issue for you, these textured um, handle scales are fantastic. They're not gonna dig into your skin, they, they're not uncomfortable at all, but they do provide a lot of grip. Now one place I can see where I wouldn't wanna use one of these is if I'm wearing gloves that, are, that don't have any grip on them in the winter time, which I do have some like that. Um, typically never really becomes an issue, but in case it does for you, the textured uh, grippy stuff is really, really grippy. It's awesome, and I like that they cut that out right there so it doesn't tear up your pockets. Very cool design, really good stuff. This is a made in the United States of America knife. Top notch quality, fit and finish design. I, I feel like that button issue that I mentioned earlier is already getting better. Like it's already, it's just breaking in and it's very, very smooth now. For the first time I fired it, um, I felt a little bit of stick and I don't, I don't feel that now. So that's pretty cool. So that leads me to believe that that will break in immediately. Um, it will break in uh, and not be an issue. So um, US made production knives are generally more expensive than the price points you see with ProTech. And I really appreciate that. Um, them and Hogue, I believe are just knocking that kind of thing out of the park. Spyderco has some uh, made in the United States knives that are uh, very, very affordable. If you're a knife enthusiast, <laughs> if you're not a knife enthusiast, you might get sticker shock from some of these things. But I just, I really appreciate that. An American made company uh, could charge uh, a lot for these knives and they don't. I think that's something that I, I appreciate big time because I love collecting and uh, we have an expensive hobby here. I love the Warncliffe because I love all Warncliffs. That's one of my favorite uh, blade shapes for EDC. I've never gotten to, uh, I've never found a Malibu in this uh, blade shape before that, that I was able to bring home. So I'm super pumped about that. I find them very useful for EDC tasks and this is going to be a regular in my rotation for a long time, I am sure. I love it. Glowing review, a couple of nitpicks. ProTech, you're knocking it out of the park. I love you. You're doing great stuff. Thanks to all my friends at River's Edge Cutlery. Uh, and I will see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.